Okay, so this is Molly. This is day five of her training. One of the most important things is fundamentals, and we tend to overlook and breeze past that because we want to get to the real fun stuff. But establishing a really good foundation is important. So first of all, as I've said with the weanling training, keeping a personal bubble, establishing back, moving over, moving the front quarters, the hind quarters, and engaging all sides. So I'm going to start out by changing my body position in a lean in position, shaking the halter, back, back, good. If I can get one step backwards, that's progress. So the next, Molly, back, slowly there, the least amount of pressure. So making the easy, or making the right thing easy and the hard thing a lot of work. So leaning in, back, slowly building up the, the line right there. She's thinking about it. She's licking and chewing. Molly, back. Good. Now I want her to observe my personal space. So just like the babies, I'm going to walk in, make myself big. As soon as she crosses over those front legs away from me, then I'm going to relieve or make myself small again and let her know that that's the right answer. So I'm going to ask the question. Make her take a bigger step that time. And then I will turn and I will crouch toward her back end, applying pressure over. That's a good, a good step in the right direction. What I really want to see is her pivoting or crossing over her back legs. So I'm going to push her over on the front end. Good. I'm going to come in over. Just like that. Walk her up, Molly walk. No matter what commands you choose, just make sure that you're consistent. Oh. So I'm gonna start by backing, Molly back. Build up that pressure, back, back. Progress, not perfection. So I'll take one step. Now I'm gonna work the right side as well as the left. I'm going to make myself big. There, as soon as she crosses over that front leg, that's the good girl. I'm going to make myself small again and let her know that's the answer. Then I'm going to turn around her back end. Look, I didn't even have to touch her. The same as when we're working our babies, horses have a sensitive side and a dull side. Nine times out of 10, they're going to be more dull on their left side because this is where we do all the work. We lead them from the left hand side. We tend to start brushing them on the left hand side. So they're a lot more acclimated. Now, if I come to this side, it's a lot more sensitive. So I say, Molly. Good. Molly. Good. Turn to the back end. Have her yield back. Good. Now I'm gonna add an extra step. I'm going to ask her to bring her nose around. There. back end, engage that hind quarter, bring her nose around, ask her to come through, good, bring that hind quarter over, there we go, good job Molly, walk her up, hope, I want to establish this buffer, lean in, back, build up that pressure on the line, back, ask for one step, then I'm going to push her over, Good. Lean in that hind quarter. Ask her to step over. Step over one more time. Building up. Over. Good. I'm going to ask her to come through. Yield the front. Come back. Yield behind. Push her nose through. Yield the front. 